Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with another transmission from Mechat Keyboards and today we're taking a look at the new Keychron V4. Now this is the second entry into Keychron's V series. V, which I can only assume stands for value uh, because these kits, though having some great features, are quite well priced. Um, this one, bare bone, sells for $65. And I actually bought this one off of Amazon. And because uh, this one is the first one we took a look at. This is the V1. Um, and it's basically the 75% comes with or without knob. Now this one does cost, I believe it's $9 more than it does on Keychron. Uh, but, and as you can see, this is the uh, translucent black. I wanted to be able to just compare. I know they're different models, but uh, they both come in either a translucent back, which is a um, is this one. It's more of a smoky. It's pretty dark. I, I don't mind it uh, as compared to others. Uh, and then this one that I did get is a solid black, so I wanted to do that comparison real quick when I do open her up. But these uh, these newer keyboards offer some really great values. Yes, they are not gasket mount, but I guess gasket mount only just came around in the last few years and it's not like you know a, a top or a tray mount keyboard is is bad that this just and I I feel that some people have just gotten that impression that you know it must be gasket mounted the majority of my keyboards are not gasket mounted and I majority of them especially the ones that I've modded I could use I could sit down and use now 60 percent are a little harder if I'm actually doing some coding uh, but 65% and up, especially if I'm able to remap keys, and especially if it has QMK or VIA, as this one does. So anyway, this is their 60% um, V4. I don't know why they're, you know, the first one was the V1, the next one was the V4, but we'll see. I'm going to guess that the next one, I don't know. Which one could it be, a TKL? We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I believe the TKL is one of the most popular, but it could be 65%. Who knows? Now this one was sixty-five dollars for a sixty. It would have been nice if it was actually sixty dollars for a sixty percent. But anyway, at sixty-five dollars, let's see if it's worth it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open her up. Save the good part for everybody to be able to enjoy with me. I don't know. I I love opening tech. <laughs> it's been a thing since I was much younger in a world far far away a long long time ago anyway let's see what we got now we're gonna have probably the card that comes with every key crown foam for protection quick start guide uh, this is how you know you have a key crown uh, I, I know other companies have kind of copied it. it just gives you the quick shortcuts um, the windows the Mac modes talk about that and a quick tutorial on the, the warranty and also links uh, to where you can read more about it and of course the smaller card that tells you to make sure you got those pins straight before putting it in bub and I believe those only come with the bare bones not with the pre built but I could be wrong so we got a regular uh, switch puller oh, bag you've got your key crown cable Again, Keychron, every time I make a video of one of your guys' keyboards, I, I tell you this. I mean, all you need is a little plastic tail to connect this to that. And so that when somebody unplugs it and needs to use it for the laptop, this doesn't get lost. And they can plug it back in and get to their desktop. Just saying. It, 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 it would be an easy, easy fix. So we've got a cable. And then, oh, what do we got here? We've got some tools. We've got a little... Uh, Phillips, a switch puller, an Allen wrench, and it looks like a couple of plate screws and a couple of extra case screws. So in this video, we're going to stock. We're going to load it up with some uh, switches and some keys, and then we'll be coming back to it later on and take a, a more in-depth look into it. So, oh, and we got the manual. The manual is sitting below. And I mean, they usually have decent manuals. They've gotten better over the years, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and Pack all this back in the box where it belongs. It is lighter, but it is a 60% and it actually feels pretty good. I've gotten a lot of um, budget keyboards. 
I had to admit it, I'd bought some 60% like RK that were a, a little bit pricier or about the same and they definitely did not weigh as much. Um, now the difference is most of those have a very, uh, more of a tighter border. I'm trying to see, yeah, I've got one right here. This is actually, this is much cheaper. This is the iLog B i61, I believe. Um, this is a 60% kit that actually comes surprisingly well out of the box. Uh, when they first released it, it was like 21 bucks or like 19 with a coupon, something around there. It's around $26 on Amazon right now. Uh, but uh, this keyboard, like, it sounds and feels and is built much better than it really should. It's almost like a tester. Uh, 68 but wired um, I was a lot of folks have been impressed with this keyboard but I, I was just kind of I wanted to bring this out not to just talk about this one but just to show kind of a comparison how this one has a nice thick bezel I can't recall too many other 60 percent that had have that design so that that bezel it's interesting um, now we also have feet having three angles to choose from is always nice anyway this is a south facing um 60 percent so we've got let's take a look at these stabilizers and they seem to be standard factory lubing just a a glob in there but not too much and the they are i mean this is that's one thing these are screw in stabilizers you're not going to find many budget 60% that are south facing. I mean, south facing and has screw ins and come with QMK by it. So, and come from a reputable company that you know that you're most likely going to be able to get um, a warranty exchange if should, should an issue arise. So, you know, out of the box, I got to say, even though this is a, a profile compared to say it's the, uh, again, it's a smaller keyboard. So, Oh, this one doesn't have the Mac switch, so the Mac switch must be... Oh, no, there it is. Never mind. Had it in the wrong position. All right, so, yeah, looking at these two, um, we can see that, obviously, this case is a little bit thicker, and it does include padding. I'm going to assume this one probably does as well because I feel, I feel the substantiality. But we see that the connector port is practically the same. You've got your Mac window switch, and you've got your USB-C port. So overall, I mean, out of the box, I'm impressed. I like this, but um, I've been, I mean, this is the second V-Series, and I'm, I told myself I wasn't going to buy any more 60% keyboards, and then I bought the I Love B, now I bought this one. So here we are. <laughs> so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and just load her up, because um, there's not much more to talk about until I open her up and we'll see. I mean, the only thing that I think I'll be doing to this is the Tempest mod. I'll probably plumber mod the, um, the stabilizers. And um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what else we can do. But maybe a PE phone. But let's see how it sounds stock. So for today, I thought okay, for switches, how about we just stick with the theme and we go with the uh, Aqua Blacks. Uh, these are... Some of my favorite budget linear switches. Um, they're well priced. I don't think that uh, Akko just recently announced a whole smack of switches they're going to be, um, or they have eliminated. So they're not in production anymore. So if you like them, buy the stock. Uh, the, the post is on our budget keys if you guys are interested. It's also on their Akko uh, Twitter. So yeah, so let's load this 61 key, 60%. Uh, little I, I like it. I just, I don't know, between the gold uh, screws for the case and the not quite low profile, but I don't know, the bezel, everything, I like it. I like it. And um, I, like I said, I can use 60%, but once I have to remember the, the layering, if I'm getting into coding, then it just takes up some of my bandwidth. But uh, for like writing emails or just doing some basic stuff, 60% are fine for me. So let's go ahead and uh, load up some switches and then we'll pick some, a keycap set to go with this. So 
So for keycaps, I decided I finally got around to buying uh, cherry black on white and white on black. I have them different profiles and I just never had them in cherry. And when I was doing some testing to for north interference for some prototype switches, um, I, uh, you know, I was like, I really got to get just, there goes a keycap for it. But anyway, these are a decent scent. I got them on sale from AliExpress. They're just a double shot PBT Cherry. Um, each set I think was $19. Uh, but I, I don't even remember. I, I want to say it was the Zuiya. Zuiya. Z O Z U O Y A. I can't pronounce that. Or Y I. Official store. But um, these are decent, decent caps. Um, and they actually, believe it or not, have a compatibility for a Tasangan bottom row. Uh, I know a lot of folks have asked for what fits on Tasangan bottom rows, and it's a 7U because it has the regular sized uh, 2Us alt and uh, control, but the uh, function under Windows is just the regular 1U, but the space bar is 7U. So, uh, Anyway, not that it really matters with this one, but actually we probably will need many of those. I'm gonna go ahead and start and uh, yeah. Let's load her up and then we'll get to a sound test. Sound good? And before I forget, I just wanted to show the beautiful RGB that uh, this kit offers. It's actually quite bright, despite the fact that, I mean, obviously these aren't shining through keycaps, but um, now I haven't dug in to see what controls they have for the effects uh, for QMK Maya, but I'll probably cover that in my uh, next video once I go in to try to, uh, or mod it. But as we can see, it has some really nice, uh, very bright, RGB. I have a lot of lights turned on in here to make sure the detail doesn't get lost. And as you can see, um, that's pretty bright. And uh, yeah, there's the effects. Cycle through. So obviously it has the RGB, but right now I can't think. I mean, if you guys can, let me know of a better 60% kit that can be purchased for this price. I mean, no, it's not gasket mounted, but it didn't affect how I am going to enjoy using this. And I, I am, because I, I really like it. I, I love the bezel. Honestly, I wish that they offered this in a beige version. I would, I would pick that up. No problem, and I'm sure a lot of people would like it in white as well. Uh, now, who knows what Keychron is planning and what they're doing, but so far, I've got to say they are stepping up their game. I can't think of another 65% board from before or after for that delivers this much value for this little money. Um, it's it's a banger. So if you're looking for a 60%. You know, you want to get into it, or you've already bought, you know, your first uh, custom. This this is something that I definitely add to the list to keep in consideration. Now, if you want to try gasket, I get it, but I uh, I've got to say that for sixty percent, you're probably looking at a hundred or more just for the case and the PCB uh, to get a good or a decent. Um, I mean, KP Republic might have some options for you that are actually QMK and via. I don't know off the top of my head uh, what their prices are, but you'd have to build it. And I think, you, but it's still probably going to be costing you over $100 for gasket. But that said, gasket is it's a newer, newer thing. So it's not like, you know, oh, you got to have this. But anyway, I just wanted to show off the RGB. All right. So that's how she looks with the keys on there. Now I have a... I don't know if I necessarily call this a cheat. I saw this on a keyboard, Scott's channel, um, as a short. And 
I've been doing it to practically all of uh, all of my keyboards because basically, I mean, this is what a sound bar usually sounds like. Brings a little hollow, right? So one thing that I like to do Is to take a little bit of Noiko. Now you can do this with a couple of different materials. Uh, the uh, the strips, the weather stripping that might be used uh, to create the uh, padding between the plate and PCB. Um, double sided tape, but don't take the tape off on the bottom. It's not it's just collect a bunch of dust. And you don't want that. Uh, but I have found personally that Noiko or the butyl rubber. Uh, Noiko is a is a generic name brand or generic brand, which is. Uh, roughly 30% cheaper than the others. Maybe a little bit more when on sale. But basically, I just want to, let me see, make enough of a strip to go in there between the post. It really doesn't take that much. Not like loading it up. I mean, you put too much in there, you'll know because it'll cause binding issues. But this is adhesive backing. I don't use the adhesive backing. I let the uh, the actual bottom part, the aluminum foil, I just press it in and then it just grabs and it just stays. So I don't have to worry about leaving any adhesive behind if I do go to pull it out. So I'm Said it doesn't really it's not taking up that much but just this little bit I'm gonna go ahead and add it make sure it's not interfering so in in my opinion it makes a difference it's not huge I don't think it's a cheat I mean it's just taking out some of that hollowness that's just gonna be created in the echo chamber that is the space bar so I like this. I mean, this is quickly becoming one of my favorite 60 percents. And like I said, 60 percents I like, but they're not top of my list. Anyway, I I really like how this looks. It, I do like the um, the solid black, but like I said, their uh, translucent black isn't really smoky. It's more of a carbon. It's a dark, dark black, and you can see through, but it's not like super translucent. Anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead set up we'll do a stock sound test of this keyboard and we'll be coming back to visit it later on and do some mods to it so I change out the switches maybe put in some different caps and see what uh kind of sound we can work out of it until the next transmission keep calm keyboard on <laughs>